Um, next question is from Gaijin American. He's asking, when does mourning the dead become ancestor worship? I perform the traditional rites of the Chinese on tomb sweeping day. Does that make me a Confucian by Abrahamic standards or am I culturally Confucian? To me, this sounds like you're culturally Confucian. You're like, this is how I grew up. This is the traditions we have. Yeah, culturally Confucian is how I would describe it. I mean, you don't, um, what's the definition of somebody who's a Confucian? Do you have to actually believe that your ancestors are alive to be a Confucian? Because, I mean, Gaijin American, you know more about this than I do, because I thought like Confucianism is more about doing the things that keep the structure, uh, doing the things that keep the structure of society moving forward and like have a, a framework for everything. It's not like, again, tell me if my reading of this is correct or not. Confucianism doesn't give a crap whether or not your ancestors are alive or not. Um, it's more about going through the motions of what you need to do for everybody to know their goddamn place in society, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And if you have to, if you have to do these traditions to know that this is how who you are and this is your place, just do the traditions. Like I don't your personal belief, you know, in ancestors or not be damned. Like who gives a crap? Just do, just sweep, just sweep, just do the sweeping. <laughs> Shut up and sweep. Okay. But, um, and also it is more... your filial piety is that you must <laughs> sweep. <laughs> All right. And also my understanding is like, it's symbolism, like having had such high regards for your dead ancestors, uh, also kinds of kind of, highlights how important it is to respect your elders and respect uh, your and it's a symbolism of your family structure and your family emblem and your family whatever your family is like you know like making everybody this is a symbol of your family and your, the legacy of your family and just making you a more productive member of the uh, of society if you are trying to make your family keep its rightful place in society and you are if so basically if you are a contributing member in your family then your family is a contributing um, element within society then by extension you are a contributing function um, useful member of society okay so uh, so just worshiping Worshipping the ancestors is basically a way for you to understand that this family's honor needs and its place and its image in society needs to be kept well. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but, no, I like that. Wait, wait um, Asian American say, yeah, I, and I think like, I think Asian American, you're like looking at things through an Abrahamic mindset, but by saying like, asking yourself, whether if you believe in it, you are still a Confucianist or not, okay? Because I think compared to Islam and Christianity, Eastern religions have more focus on the tradition than the belief. Maybe I'm wrong about this, okay? I think it's, like it's in like Islam- It's a preservation of societal harmony. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. No, so what I'm saying, like religion has two major elements, okay? the belief element and the tradition element, okay? And I think the takeover of Islam and Christianity of half of the world has, and because these religions take the belief part so seriously, okay? The belief in Jesus Christ, it's not just about you going to church, okay? It's you believe in Jesus Christ. It's the belief, the faith is so important, okay? It's very important, okay? And Islam is like, you believe in Tawheed. You believe like you are Muslim when you say when you when you say that you believe in Allah and you believe Muhammad was his prophet. It's not just a tradition. It's not just like oh, I pray. I'm a Muslim. You have to believe these things. Okay. So the emphasis on belief in Islam and Christianity, I think, if you want to look at the Eastern religions through that uh, mindset, you you you're you're giving too much weight into the belief. The tradition, the is I think has more importance in in those Eastern religions. Let me know if you agree or not with this. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, 
like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.